Hi, in this video we'll demonstrate how to provision a virtual machine instance on the Oracle Cloud. On the oracle.com slash cloud page, we sign into our cloud account. And then we land on the cloud console. Where we find a collection of quick action cards, including the create a VM instance card we are looking for. Now the create computer instance page has a nice flow to it. So as we land on it, we find an instance name already provisioned for us. Now let's change the operating system from Oracle Linux to Canonical Ubuntu 20.04. Now we notice the type of the machine seems to be bare metal, uh, which may be a little bit too much for us at this time. So let's change the machine type to a virtual machine. Change shape, bare metal to virtual machine, Intel Skylake processor, and let's pick the single Google CPU 15 gigabyte memory machine. Select shape. And then the following networking and the boot volume section can be left default. And then since the Oracle compute service is able to generate SSH keys for us, Let's choose that default option and then ensure to save the private key at the end. So generate SSH key and then save private key. Make sure you remember where you saved the key. Now saving the public key is optional, but we can save it just in case. And then at this point, we are ready to create the compute VM instance. Now it is in its provisioning phase. And as it is being provisioned, we see information being populated on the work request. So let's give it a little bit to fully provision. The provisioning phase may take up to several minutes for a virtual machine instance to become fully ready. But once it's fully provisioned and ready, we see at the top a set of actions to stop the instance to reboot the instance edit and several additional um, actions to terminate it whenever we need to. And then we see that the instance received a public IP. And also there is a username uh, that has been created for us. Now the next question is, how do we log into this instance? So for that, we would need a terminal. So I'm going to bring over my terminal. And the first thing we need to do is to make sure and verify that we have the key that we've downloaded earlier. So let's check that. So the key is here. Now the problem is that the key is too open, is not restrictive enough. So the next thing we need to do is issue a chmod command. 
And typically, if we change that to 400, we convert this into a read only file, chmod 400, download SSH key. And let's list it again. And now it is read only. And now we should be ready to SSH into our instance. So SSH dash I to identify. And I'm going to identify with the SSH file. And then I provide the name of the user Ubuntu at and then I need the IP address 158 101106.31. And we are logged in. So this is the instance we have just provisioned. So now we can verify the operating system. So cat at C OS release. And it is Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, same way as we've configured it. So now it is safe for us to exit. And once back at the console, it is safe for us to delete or terminate the instance. So let's hit terminate. Confirm, acknowledge, permanently delete the attached boot volume and terminate instance. And this will probably take a few minutes for the instance to fully terminate and to be removed from our infrastructure. So in this video, we've learned how to create a virtual machine on the Oracle cloud infrastructure. We also learned how to connect to it. We've seen the chmod command and the SSH command from a terminal on our workstation. And then we also learned how to delete a virtual machine. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.